Uleni municipality says its workers affected by sewage spillage will be taken to their head office for now. Workers down tools last week due to the unbearable working conditions. Kailitle Kumalo has more on that story. An unsightly scene as you walk into the basement. A sewage spillage has forced workers to vacate this building used by the Mfuleni municipality in Funderbill Park. These desks remain unoccupied as workers have down tools saying no more. In the past two weeks, I had an asthma attack in the lift. So it's not easy to come to work while you know you're going to inhale something. The working conditions here are unbearable. Um, coming to work every day, having to inhale this type of um, smell, it's just not, it doesn't conduce a, a proper working environment and it's deteriorating our health. I have constant headaches and my chest as well. I kept on having short breath, it gets blocked. The beleaguered municipality says it's forking out four million rand every month in rent for the building. But what's going on here? There's a sewer overflow in the, in the, in the building. So they felt, the workers felt which, no, they can't take it anymore because it has, a, it has been an issue that they've been raising it. Uh, you would also recall that in April also the, we, they stayed almost for about a month home because uh, it was still the same problem and Department of Labor had to come in and, and, and close down the building. Uh, yesterday as well, they, they had actually revoked it sometimes uh, when the situation was improving. But yesterday they came, they evaluated, and they, they found that the building is it's actually not, 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 not compliant in terms of, of health issues. The council says it has limited resources and the building's infrastructure is decaying. It's also attending to cases of workers who are sick because of the environment. We have been receiving quite a number of, 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 of medical certificates where employees have been, cited, have, 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 have been diagnosed to have inhaled foreign, foreign objects or foreign smell. And, and as a result of that, we, 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 we had to take precautionary measures to say, look, in, in the event of this happening, rather let's converge at head office and, and be able to, to find a common solution. This morning we had a meeting with the municipal manager as well as the mayor, where in a decision has been taken that of immediate interest is to find the alternative uh, 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 buildings. The municipality was placed under administration last year. Meanwhile, its financial recovery plan has just been approved. It requires at least 25 million rand to replace the sewage pipelines. Kyle Kumalo, Vanderbilt Park.